solving one-step addition and subtraction equations. So when solving one-step equations, remember certain hints. They are to solve equations, you must work backwards through the order of operations to find the value of the variable. We can remember to use inverse operations in order to isolate the variable on one side of the equation. And what I think is the most important hint and always to remember when solving, whatever you do to one side of an equation, you must do to the other side. So let's take a look and use these hints to solve one step equations. Our first example we have here is y plus 8 equals 17. So remember, if we're solving, the goal is to get the variable isolated or completely by itself on one side of the equation. So here our variable is y and it's on the left side of the equation. And it's not by itself currently. Right now it's being added by 8. So we want to think first, what is the inverse of adding 8? Well, that would be subtracting 8. So if it's adding 8, we want to subtract 8 because that undoes the adding 8. And now we have the variable completely by itself on that left side of the equation. But remember, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other. So that's why we're not just subtracting 8 from the left side. We're also subtracting 8 from the right side. We're doing 17 minus 8 leaving us with 9. So that is our solution, y equals 9. Let's look at some more example. Let's try these. We have x minus 7 equals 3 and 13 equals x minus 16. So again, it says to solve. So our goal is to get that variable x completely isolated, completely alone on one side of the equal sign. In this equation, it's on the left, but it's being subtracted by 7. So we need to do the inverse or the opposite of subtracting 7. So that would be we need to add 7. And we'll have to do that to both sides of the equal sign. In this equation, the x is on the right side of the equation, and it's being subtracted by 16. So we need to do the opposite or inverse of subtracting 16 to both sides. We'll add 16. In both of these equations, the variable is being subtracted by a number. So we need to undo that subtraction by adding the number. So here you can see in this equation, when we add 7 to the left, it undoes that subtracting 7 and gets the variable completely isolated by itself. And then adding 7 on the right side of the equation gives us 3 plus 7 equals 10. So our solution is x equals 10. In this equation, when you add 16 to the right side of the equation, it undoes the subtracting 16 and gets us that variable x isolated. And when you add 16 to the left side of the equation, you get 13 plus 16 equals 29, making our solution 29 equals x. Now let's try these examples. Here again, we're solving each equation. So the goal is to isolate the variable, get it completely by itself on one side of the equal sign. In this first equation, x plus 12 equals 24. We have the variable x on the left side of the equation and currently it's being added by 12. So we need to do the inverse on both sides. We need to, instead of add 12, the inverse of addition, we need to subtract 12 from both sides. In this equation, the second equation, 9 equals x plus 6, we have our variable x on the right side of the equation, and currently it's being added by 6. So we need to do the opposite or the inverse of adding 6 to both sides to undo that operation. We need to subtract 6. In both of these examples, the variable is currently being added by a number, so we need to do the inverse and subtract by that number on both sides. So subtracting 12 in that first equation gets the variable completely isolated on the left, and then 24 minus 12 on the right gives us our solution of x equals 12. When subtracting 6 in the second equation, on the right side, it isolates x, it undoes that adding 6. 
And on the left, we get 9 minus 6 equals our solution of 3. So 3 equals x. So now let's take a look at two more examples. Here we have in our first equation x plus 4 equals 17. So we're solving, so we want to isolate that variable x, get it completely alone on that left side of the equal sign. Currently it's being added by 4, so we need to do the inverse and we need to subtract 4 on both sides. In the second equation, 26 equals x minus 15. Currently the variable x is being subtracted by 15. So we need to do the inverse or opposite of subtracting 15. We need to add 15. And that should isolate the variable for both of these equations. So when we subtract 4 in that first equation, it does isolate the variable on the left and gives us our solution on the right, 17 minus 4 equals 13. In the second equation, when we add 15, it isolates the variable on the right and gives us our solution, 26 plus 15, on the left. So 41 equals x is the solution to that equation. So when you're performing your inverse operations, it's important to do them to both sides of the equal sign. Make sure it's completely isolating your variable, and then you should have your solution.